Do you ever wonder if all those weird ingredients and in all those fancy skincare products actually do anything? Cockadoo plum, blue cactus, OS1 peptide. With the right equipment, you can actually measure if they work. More on that soon. I'm a slightly self-conscious scientist who's done a ton of research into skin health. So when a skincare brand recently approached me to work with them, they did not expect what I would put them through. My initial response was what I tell most brands. I need to see the scientific research behind it, try it myself, and be able to objectively measure the effects and speak truthfully about the results. At which point most brands walk away. These guys, they got excited. The brand is One Skin, and I was soon on a call with their chief science officer and co-founder nerding out about the science behind a cool molecule that she and her team of all female PhD co-founders developed. Our main molecule uh, that is OS1 peptide. And this peptide was interesting because it showed that it can reduce especially the accumulation uh, of new senescent cells. We also saw decrease of markers related to aging, to inflammation. The healthy cells, the youth cells, they start like working and performing better. So we also see like an increase of collagen. We also see an increase of hyaluronic acid production. We see an increase on the thickness of the epidermal layer, a stronger um, skin barrier. Basically, it stops skin cells from going bad and hanging around to gunk up the works, as more and more do with age or sun exposure. So it sort of reduces biological skin age. But that was shown in skin cells in a lab. What about human data? They did a 12-week clinical trial. It was split face. Half of the face was using the formulation with the peptide, and the other half was without. On the half with the peptide, almost everyone showed less wrinkles, improved elasticity, greater smoothness, etc. Which is great. But now for the most important part. Will it work for me? And can I measure it? I went and got a high-tech skin health scan. And the results were a little bit scary. In the visible spectrum, my skin looks okay. But the UV light shows a different story. Apparently, I've got a lot of spotting from past UV exposure. And I need to work on my pores. But... Thankfully, helps the DNA repair on the cells and avoid them to become senescent cells. So here's what's going to happen. I'll be using one skin for the next six months, taking regular hydration measurements with this doohickey and doing another full scan in the middle and the end. I'll report back to you guys, but if you trust the clinical trial results and want to join my experiment, I've got a discount code here for you. But make sure to report back to me with your results.